Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here with a new Kona Blue Link 64 kilowatt hour battery, uh, full electric. And this is the latest version on the market. It's just come out in 2020. And today I have it right here with me. And I'm really, really happy to present you this uh, beautiful car. We will go through interior, uh, exterior. I will show you all the details and all the information, uh, including price and all that uh, technical detail. So we will make an in-depth review today. And I hope, I hope you will enjoy it. Um, it is an amazing car. I, I go through a little bit before the video and I like it very much. I'm a big fan of Hyundai cars and I have to tell you um, this car it's a big big competitor for uh, Tesla. So all right guys before we start I want to show you the information about the car because most of you are um, are really really interested in all that details so first of all I want to tell you that it's the latest version blue link that come with blue link that mean you have this amazing navigation system right here uh, and the newest is uh, screen and and it's great we will go through in a moment um, also uh, we have right here you can see the Kona EV blue link edition 64 kilowatt this is the the biggest test kilowatt uh, the biggest test battery that you can find it right now on the market also the price of this car it's 52,000 uh, um, francs it's kind of the same in dollar I don't know these days and then also you can check it out on Parisi Automobile.ch if you want to if you are in Switzerland or around here uh, you can also see there more detail and also um, see what the version of the car they still have you have five years warranty from Hyundai Th this is amazing and also eight years warranty uh, to the battery and also to the motors here you have some uh, discounts but only to Parisi Automobile uh, you have this discount so uh, check out their site if you if you are interested in all that uh, details also the car come with 204 horsepower and um, uh, 395 uh, newton meter here we have all that details you can read it yourself uh, I will not go through that because uh, most of the people are not interested in all that stuff but we will see it uh, when we make the review I will show you um, all these details so um, let's do it guys so all right guys we will start with the exterior and I just want to show you here in the back we have full LED light those uh, those lights look really really nice in my opinion you can see the LED and the design it's it's pretty pretty nice even from the, the distance um, they look very very nice uh, also down here on the blinkers we don't have LED light it's just a normal bulb light as you can see and also on the reverse uh, reverse light it's also a uh, normal bulb light uh, on the other side here we have the uh, fog lamp that it's also a normal bulb light and around here we have some uh, light reflector for the night that it's very very useful uh, another cool stuff that I see it on the car it's the reverse camera also I will show you in a moment when we go inside the car um, here on the number plate we have just normal bulb light but you can change it with LED light if you want to look better um, up here we have the brake LED light uh, on the roof spoiler that look also very nice uh, in my opinion and uh, yeah kind of uh, this is the lights in the back guys uh, let's go in the front let me show you the blinkers right here we have a blinker LED light on the mirrors just right here and then going in the front around here we have another light reflectors on these uh, edges right here around the wheels then we go in the front the blinker in the front again it's a it's a bulb light no LED just the bulb light and here we have daylight so uh, this is the LED daylight uh, they look pretty nice and here we have again um, this time here we have LED light for the high bin and low bin and uh, the fog lamps are here and they are not LED light it's just a normal bulb light 
right there. Other than that, uh, I will present you the other things later, but let's go a little bit in the back to see uh, better the light. So you can see now the daylight uh, and the blinkers, the way they look, uh, in my opinion, they look very nice. Uh, the design of the car is very nice and the fact that it doesn't have that grill, uh, it makes the car look um, super nice. The car come with those 17 inch rims. Uh, they have this aero cap. They are make special for uh, electric car, for, for this Kona. And they, they help the car aerodynamic a little bit. You can see they are kind of straight, you, you know, the, say, the same as on the um, Tesla Model 3. They have this cap, the same. They have those, uh, those cap. Hyundai Kona uh, and they are 17 inch and they, and they in my opinion they look uh, very very nice on the car uh, you can see it from the back right here even in the front uh, I find the design pretty nice here in the back the car come with four parking sensors uh, in the back and also the reverse camera to help you um, park the car and I tell you they are very helpful they look super nice also we don't have any exhaust pipe it's normal we hope we have this plastic in gray that looks super super nice and I like the shape of the plastic also this plastic come all over around the wheels right here so it will protect the wheels and also protect the paint down there I wish I have this on my car um, also uh, this can be changed very easy, um, but the paint cannot be uh, paint every time when you have a stone, a little stone or a little chip. And the fact that they add those plastic around the wheels, even here in the front, uh, I find it very, very, uh, very good and very practical in time. Uh, it will protect the car much better than when you will have a... A normal paint you can see you can change it very easy from here you have just a, just a screw and then you have a few screw and you can take this part out and you can change it very easy again also here on the side we have the blue drive uh, from Hyundai that tell you immediately um, this car it's a special special model it's an electric model it's um, a full electric model also this plastic continuing here in the front and again we have some rubbers down here as you can see it those rubbers protect the, the, the wheels and also the articulation down there uh, again in the front we have uh, as you see here again four parking sensors you can also see it very easily uh, on the front bumper again in the front we have the radar down there this radar is for adaptive cruise control emergency brake lane assist you know all that safety feature uh, that come with the car that come new with uh, all the uh, new Hyundai's also I like the way the air intakes look you know the air come around there for the battery and cool down the battery a little bit and also I like very much the front of the car also the car if you look uh, closely right here we have also this nice uh, logo and the nice shape of the car you can see how nice is the shape also a little bit of gray here insertion in the front look uh, in my opinion it looks super super nice uh, also the hood have a few lines around there that they look super uh, and also um, of course the charging port is here in the front um, I think it's here or anyway around here you just have to press it you have to press it here and then here is the charging port guys uh, we have of course CCS this is the new system here's the fast charging uh, and here you can use the CCS the fastest uh, charging that uh, it's possible on this car on the windshield right here up we have also a camera that help the lane assist and also the raining sensors are right there uh, on the on the windscreen and then here guys we have the mirror that have a nice nice design also uh, quite tiny and uh, the aerodynamics also uh, pretty good then 
uh, on the side of the car also the car have some interesting lines you can see it right there in the middle um, they look quite interesting um, I like the lines of the car I like the shape of the car and the design I think in my opinion uh, they did a great job also let's go to the handles we have the keyless entrance in the car just have to press the button the car is locked and unlocked just with the button and also guys let me take the key I want to show you the key this is the key key it's very very light and very cool in my opinion it's super light and super nice and also uh, when you have the key with you you can lock the car you can you can see the mirrors we have folding mirrors of course on the car uh, that come uh, also standard and then you can unlock it just by pressing this button uh, we have here the the trunk guys you just have to uh, press this button two times and you open open up the the trunk usually it should have the automatic lift gate but this car doesn't have doesn't come with uh, automatic lift gate anyway let's put the key inside and let's go around the windows here we have some rubber around the windows as you can see and the windows are also pretty interesting the way they design it we will go in the interior and you will see from the back you have a great visibility and also from the front uh, the visibility it's super nice on the roof of the car you can add some extra uh, storage guys so you can see you have those uh, lines there where you can add the storage there is the radio antenna and here is this beautiful back of the car i like this roof spoiler very much it has some plastic here but the roof spoiler the way they design it it's super nice with all that lines there uh, in my opinion it looks very nice I don't know about you, but I like the back of the car very much and the lines look uh, phenomenal and even in the white color uh, the car look uh, super nice. Oh, let me show you the engine guys, you can uh, actually the motor not the engine. Also I'm almost forget to show you the blind spot technology right here in the mirror. The car comes with also with blind spot technology. You have to keep in mind that this car is full option and you will see in the moment we will go inside and I will show you all the option and all the uh, option that come with this car. Here is the uh, electric motor guys. Uh, most of you wonder how this look like. This is the 60, uh, the 204 horsepower uh, motor that uh, come with the car also we have a 12 volt battery right here all the electric car have this 12 volt battery as well and yeah other than that the brake liquid and the coolant for the the battery it's here i think and also the water wipers so just to make an idea the way it looks you have to close it good let's go forward and let me show you the trunk right now guys we will go in the trunk right here we have a button it's manually open so uh, the trunk is manually just to keep in mind we have a handle right here pretty simple handle and then um, this is the trunk uh, it's it's kind of uh, big enough for an SUV and a city SUV also you can take this out very easily from here if you want to uh, see how much space you have we will do that in a second and then I want to show you also how the car look like without this uh, protection we will put it here for a moment and then here it is this is the trunk guys this is the trunk we have a flat entry this is something that i love it also some plastic right here we have some hooks uh, a little space here we have a normal light hooks around and also in this side we have the speaker right here we have a great great sound inside the car just to keep in mind uh, this thing under the floor right here we have the books and also um, a few spaces here where you can put your stuff under that 
uh, we have another space guys where we have the cables and also the repair kit and all that things so you have to you have to know that under here under this floor you still have um, some storage space there so that's that's pretty cool now let's fold down the seat and see how the car look uh, with the seat folding down all right now guys we have the, the seat folding down and you can see we have almost a flat floor right here it's it's maybe 98 percent flat uh and i think you have enough space right here it's kind of big big space where we can carry uh many stuff uh let's go also on the side maybe you can see better the entrance in the car it's big enough uh, and then you still have plenty of space down there on your legs so you have plenty plenty of space uh, and also i like the fact that it doesn't have any bump there in the middle so you have plenty of space for the legs and also you can see how much space it is here after you fold down the seat uh, it's not a very long space because the car is not very long but it is a big big space where you can put um, you can still put many many things there here in the back i just want to show you that uh, the car come with also two cup holders uh, here it's leather you have leather almost everywhere all the seats are made from leather also you can adjust this headrest right here the way you want it very simply and also this one um, you can put it all the way down all the way up the way you want to uh, leave it for the visibility the seats from Kona are fantastic they have great great quality and also they are very very reliable and very uh, comfortable we have leather we have stitches right here we have some uh, little holes in them you can see it uh, the design is very nice and they feel also uh, very good quality uh, in my opinion they are some of the most uh, great great seats um, also at this price it's it's fantastic uh, let's go forward also they have a nice position you can see it's a little bit on the back so you have a great great uh, comfortable position we will go there in the moment here behind the seat the front seat we have some plastic some storage space also down here as I told you we don't have any big bump so you have huge space on the legs uh, actually here we don't have nothing just the plastic so all over here is plastic uh, it was better if there was some usb ports or a vent or something like that i think you can take it as an option i'm not sure in other version i have to check it out also up here on the roof we have light normal bulb light also uh, some handles uh, that you can hold while you're driving now let's go to the door guys I like the fact that you have one windows just made from one piece so you can fold uh, the window down uh, from one piece it's not split in two then here we have some plastic on the upper side but this plastic look pretty nice they make a nice uh, design uh, and also the handle look nice in gray here we have soft material leather all over here it's leather here we have soft material again then we have the button for electric windows and also in the back we have heating uh, seats on the back so that's an, again something amazing we have the speaker right here and some storage space uh, in the door so uh, this is the door so let's go inside guys to see the space inside uh, closing the door make it more realistic uh, now it's in my driving position so the seat it's in my driving position you can see you still have plenty of space there um and then let's see the space on my on my knees the space on my knees it's enough here in the back in my opinion you can stretch a little bit the legs down there you still have maybe no maybe one finger but i don't think so maybe one finger here under but i still have uh plenty of space there let's see the head space guys four fingers no problem the head space it's pretty good if i go a little bit in the front I have a nice nice relaxing position as I told you I like those uh, Hyundai seats very much and I find it very comfortable 
the visibility on the windows it's great that's why i tell you from one pieces the visibility it is super nice also I have a little windows for more light inside and i feel like more open space you know so i feel pretty good let's go in the middle in the middle right here also we have maybe two fingers space here also the space on the legs four fingers maybe a little bit more here i think you can get these seats a little bit more in the front uh, but i still have plenty of space in the left side you know maybe for three people is not so comfortable but in the city i think uh, he will do a great job um, in the city drive now guys we will go also in the front and i want to show you this uh very nice dashboard uh, i like very much the way they they do those electric um cars uh hyundai for example ionic and this hyundai kona uh, electric they make this fantastic center console with those buttons to change the gears and also all that gray button the way it's designed and also under the under the center console we have another space we will go now in the front and i will show you all that details uh in my opinion it is um one of the the, the nicest um center console on the market let's go in the front right now in the front again we have big windows from one pieces uh, that make the visibility fantastic you will see it in the moment also on the door on the upper side we have this uh, plastic but you know they make it really nice the trim it look nice and it doesn't feel like you have a plastic there some gray handles also the speaker right here we have two speakers in the front we have the creel speaker guys i think you know creel they they make amazing sound the, the sound in the car it's super nice here on this side we have leather all over this place here this part it's leather soft material soft again here we have the buttons electric uh, windows buttons also the lock unlock the windows locker and also the um, controllers for the electric uh, mirror so you can uh, adjust the mirrors electrically also we have some storage space down here uh, then again I have to tell you the front seat of the car are electric you can adjust it from here very simple the way you want it so it's pretty cool uh, to be able to adjust those seats also the pedals right here we have aluminium pedals right now they have still that protection on them but they are aluminium I have to tell you that uh, just keep this in mind uh, also guys don't forget that all this car with all this option the price of this car it's only forty six thousand dollars so you can see there uh, for this price you have an electric car with amazing amazing uh, uh, options on the car heated seat in the back and all that stuff we will go through them uh, in the moment and also let's don't forget that with this car you can drive till 500 kilometer with the 64 kilowatt battery so you have an electric car 500 kilometer uh, it's able to drive maybe realistic 400 but still a great great car with amazing features here you have the fuse box i just don't want to open it right now we have plastic on this side then we have the lane assist we have here you can open up uh, the charging port or stop it or uh, schedule it also the lights and also uh, the brightness of the light and here we have the blind spot technology and we have also this head-up display that you see it before I will show you a little bit later also the vents are nice they feel nice uh, as you touch it so the quality is pretty good and uh, we have plastic around a little bit of chrome design there and then going up here we have again plastic this part but and here also plastic so all over uh, the dash we have this plastic but it doesn't look like plastic uh, I'm, I'm quite impressed that it's it's really doesn't look like plastic something that i want to show you before we go forward is this space down here under the under the the center uh, console we have another uh, big big huge space i should say here we have a huge space there uh, under the, the the middle console and then there we have a usb port and also a 12 volt port 
and enough space to put your stuff right there so it's quite quite impressive armrest right here guys huge space it's it's enormous this space here it's super huge uh, the practicality of this car it's amazing you have another space down here uh, where you can put your stuff and let me go inside to show you the rest of it we have a manual adjustable steering wheel from here uh, just to keep in mind you can adjust the steering wheel as well here we have in the car in the same price we have ventilated seats and also heated seats driving mode you can choose the echo um, and you can choose the driving mode itself also heated steering wheel auto hold uh, and then parking sensors and for passengers the same electric electronic handbrake here guys two cup holders the key you already see it nice gray nice design on the uh, middle console and here we have the cool buttons to change the gear reverse parking neutral and drive pretty awesome again a space here where you can put your phone you can charge your phone wireless here also we have a USB port uh, right here in the front pretty awesome great technology and here is the climatic system um, with all his function I think uh, everybody know uh, those uh, those climatic system I don't have to present it also the uh, start engine button right here then let's go down we have some big space here in my opinion a lot of space in the glove box where you can put your stuff we have some plastic on this side and then here guys all this part it's soft material just keep in mind you can see I can push it all that part it's soft material and the design it's pretty nice I like the way they designed the dashboard I don't know about you but it's so futuristic let me close the door and let me show you the way it comes those lines look super nice guys I mean it's one of the most beautiful dashboard and the way you see from here from the driver's side so let's start that and let me show you the way it looks like also I will choose English because most of you uh, understand better so guys from the driver point of view you have a fantastic visibility and the way they design the vents right here they feel great a little bit of chrome uh, soft material here then all over the dash you have kind of a plastic there you have another speaker right there in the back some vents here it's head-up display I don't know if you see it before I will show you in the moment actually when you start the car the head-up display will come out as well you can see it right now and you can see right there uh, on the head-up display Hyundai you will see the navigation you will see the speed you will see all that information uh, about the car you can see it right now I don't know if you can, I can focus right there but anyway you make the idea the visibility it's gorgeous from the driver point of view also great visibility on the windows as I told you big windows nice view in the mirrors also right here we have this mirror with a great visibility in the back uh, nice edges also around the car the visibility it is super super good uh, as I told you before uh, I get inside the car I, I know this car also up here something that I like very much is this glass support that not most of the car have it and in my opinion it's super helpful uh, SOS button here we have those normal bulb light and then we have the microphone right here uh, when you speak uh, on the car we have a mirror big mirror some light normal bulb light right here again and then uh, the roof quality it's kind of medium not the best uh, and not the uh, slimmest so now that I show you almost everything I think the steering wheel it's it's the turn to the steering wheel we have leather it's a great great uh, great it feels very nice as you touch it uh, nice material and it's very nice and easy uh, to adjust it also here guys we have the the buttons uh, to adjust different function to the multimedia and also on the right side we have the function to adjust on the uh, cockpit right there depend what you like to see you can see right there the head-up display information we have the driving assist information 
right here if you go to the driving assist you will see all that safety feature lane assist i don't want to get into them uh, because i will make the video too long but i think you know what i'm talking about then you have the doors uh, information the light the sound convenience service interval other feature and stuff like that uh, but i find that pretty awesome also you have the average consumption and all that stuff information if you want to uh, if you want to know more about all that stuff, then you can change from here very easy from those um, buttons. You can change there what you like to see, the navigation, the lane assist and all that stuff. So uh, I find it very, very useful. Also, guys, from here you can change the cruise control. Also, you can see it right there in the middle, just from here um, and so on, so, vi so forward. Um, anyway, uh, I'm not going to go into detail. I also have another video about that, so you can check it out on my channel. We have also clappers for regenerate a brake. From here, you can regenerate the brake from the side right here. So it's also very, very, uh, very cool that you can regenerate the brake. And other than that, I like the steering wheel very much. Let's go to the coolest part and the newest part, this fantastic new multimedia system that we have it right here. We have shortcut button, as you can see in gray right now, you can go directly to the map, to the navigation. Here we have all the information about navigation. Here you have the, the favorite stuff. You can save your favorite, sick track, change radio, media. I don't want music <laughs> and setup. And here we have the setup guys. We have the display, the sound, the media, also general. Uh, vehicle information right here you have information about the car about the echo mode and all that stuff you can you can customize the way you want you can use it as a touch screen and this time we have a glossy screen you can see there closely and it's working perfectly guys they improve a lot this new multimedia system it's a lot improved it looks super nice super slick you have a great visibility from the driver point of view it is fantastic uh, also you have the time, the, the car is connected to the internet, you can see in the corner there, here's the home, you can use the touch screen and it's worked for perfect. You can see how much battery you still have, how much range you still have, also the nearby station where you can go search station if you want to charge the car, very simple, just press that button, it's work, it's loading so fast, the hardware behind this car, it is one of the best and you can see how easy it is to to go to to the place you want it's super super easy also you can customize this this part here in the front it's super easy um, i want to show you the navigation look how big is the navigation guys it's huge you know i mean you have such a nice visibility the colors are so beautiful to the navigation it's it's one of the most beautiful in my opinion and it's working uh, with almost no lag so i should say now it's one of the best on the market a navigation system and hyundai make a big step forward uh, in terms of navigation in terms of multimedia system and i like it very much so it's not it's not it's one of the best it's in top there uh, just i just say to make an idea about that uh, going to the menu here guys and then here you can customize edit the home widgets edit the home icons you can customize the screen the way you want it you have the manual right there let's go to setup here then you have the general information the gps the language the key keyboard system information i don't want to go in all these details um, but you just make an idea you have advanced here so you have to return to map and all that stuff also you have the navigation media display vehicle and sound here you can adjust the sound the levels the advanced the balance equalizer and all that stuff going to the home in the home you can adjust all that widgets you can see you have all kind of widgets you have the climatic control you can turn it on turn it off from here very simple just let me turn it on you can see when you turn it on you can also see it on the screen right there how cool is that and you can adjust it from here 
you can put only drivers only driver only just to spare some energy for the battery and then it's come only to the driver so that's pretty nice uh, feature and also you can you can control it I think from here or you just you can just see it there anyway turn it off very simple you have all that buttons I like the cars that have also touchscreen and also physical button physical button are, are much more faster to to control anyway uh, climatic system uh, map then you have the driving information right here um, you have to start the vehicle uh, in order to see all that information let me see if I can do that um, yeah you have to start it and then you can see all that driving information then we have all that radio manual telephone here you can connect your phone I don't want to do that right now then you have the EV information you can see here how much uh, you can still drive you can see show you on the map uh, from until where you can go so this is also a very very interesting uh, approach then going back you can see here uh, you can manage with the uh, climatic system turn on and all that stuff you can play a little bit with the settings uh, and all that stuff heavy winter mode warning range warning uh, EV route and all that stuff good I'm not going to go in detail also you have the blue link right here uh, where you can see um, POI uh, the uh, car diagnostic and also the blue link settings uh, that's the newest this one on the car guys you can activate the blue link from here modem information code offline information Hyundai live service and all that stuff um, the car can the, the Hyundai service can see if the car have a problem from here this is this is kind of great great uh, feature anyway guys I guess that was the um, uh, interior of the car that was the review I hope you enjoyed guys really I hope it was helpful for you this uh, in-deep review with the new Hyundai Kona uh, Blue Link 2020 model the price you see all the information you already see it I hope it was helpful for you guys uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see most of the newest this car on the market it will come soon also check out my other videos uh, thank you for watching guys again and um, I see you soon in the next one bye guys